That's got you in third place, guys. Awesome. How about 1290? 1290. That's got y'all up in the top. Way to go. Good job for y'all. Back at the way in sight at Lake Dardanelle State Park, plenty of quality fish are being weighed in. Last year's runner up, Sneed State Community College, makes their way up now, looking to avenge that second place finish. Looks like they're going to take over the lead today. How about a good, strong lead? 1785 new leaders. Garrett Warren and John Owen set the bar high with 17.85 pounds. That is by far the best bag of the day to this point. We started off on our best stretch and it got pretty much best stretch from practice and it got too muddied out and we just kept fishing down the bank and started getting a little bit more clear water and we were both like dang dude it's about to happen and we caught those three of our biggest fish and we went from there. Coming to the scales next is another team looking to challenge for that top spot. Georgetown, Hunter and Jacob. All right, now we're going to set the bar where it needs to be. Have you got at least 1785? We don't, we got 1738. 1738, you're in second place. Hunter Osborne and Jacob Locke bring in a five bass limit totaling 17.38 pounds. That lands the team from Georgetown College in second place at the moment. We started out in the back of the creek, but the uh, water had cooled down significantly. So the fish had moved out, so we tracked them back out, found them again, started catching them. Yeah, I mean, this field we're fishing, we're fishing against people all over the country, you know, a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different ways they fish. And I mean, we're fishing against, like I said, some of the top kids in the country. It's a real honor to be able to fish with them and be able to perform so good today. And here's a look at the top 10 following day one. Garrett Warren and John Owens from Sneed State Community College are in first. Hunter Osborne and Jacob Locke from Georgetown College trail close behind in second. And Copeland Rosser and Cade Holcomb from the University of Montevallo complete the top three. McKendree University has a strong showing on day one as they place three teams inside the top ten.